everyone. Welcome to my couch. I'd like to share an art recipe with you today. It involves several ingredients, if you have them. Half a cup of flour, a half a cup of coffee grounds. So if you have a coffee drinker at home and you have leftover coffee grounds from your coffee maker, you can save them for this recipe. If you have a Keurig at home and have K-cups, you can, I believe, also use them. Experiment, see what happens. You will also need a half a cup of water and a half a cup of salt. If you have pets at home, I have Sophie on my right, or left, your left, and Daisy's over here um, barking. You can probably hear her. Just be careful because it this recipe has a lot of salt in it and it is not good for pets to eat. So be careful. Sophie, no eating my dough. So to begin, you're going to need to gather some materials, a bowl, some measuring cups. So I have a half a cup measuring cup and I have a whole cup to use some flour, a spoon, salt, and your coffee grounds. So I am going to start by putting my coffee grounds in another bowl. All right, you don't wanna use the filter. Next, I am going to start by adding a half a cup of the coffee grounds to my large bowl. So this is a half a cup. So this dough is kind of like a air dry clay. You can also cook it and make it really strong and hard. You can experiment or just use it as a Play-Doh. You are going to add your half a cup of salt to the coffee grounds and a half a cup of flour. So a recipe that includes a lot of halves. Half a cup of everything. So there's my flour. So I have coffee grounds, salt, and flour. I'm gonna stir this up. Ooh, kinda looks like Oreos, crushed up Oreos. So you want to really mix it in Once you have it mixed really good, you are going to begin to add your water. So slowly add your water and stir at the same time. And maybe I'll just start with a fourth of a cup. So half of my half. Oh, easy. And I'm noticing it's a little sticky, so I'm gonna add a little more flour. You kind of want it to be like almost like Play-Doh. So maybe a quarter of a cup of water is going to work for right now. So I'm going to actually take this dough and I'm going to put it on my mat I have. If you have a place mat at home, works great. Uh, or a surface that you can clean. All right. So now I'm going to just kind of need my my clay so it's a little sticky so you can continue to add a little more flour a little bit at a time maybe a little sprinkle and keep on working it so I like this clay because it looks kind of like stone and you can use it for just about anything you want it's a little sticky but it is workable, so you can use this to make just about anything you want. I was thinking maybe I would make a little pinch pot. So poke a hole and kind of squeeze the dough in between your fingers. You can make a little, a little container. Or you could make an animal, maybe a turtle anything you want. If it starts to get a little sticky, you can keep on adding a little bit of um, 
flower to it. So if you would like to keep your creations, you can, with adult supervision, you can bake these in the oven at 200 degrees for about half an hour, 45 minutes, check it, or you can just leave it out to dry. It'll probably take a few days, but it will dry and harden. So I hope you have fun using this clay at home. It's nice to see you.